Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Quality in a Quick, our video series where we're going to provide you with some great information in short burst in regard to quality assurance and software testing. My name is Bob Cruz, President and Co-Founder of Checkpoint Technologies. In my career, I have had the incredible, excellent fortune of providing consulting and expertise to well over 260 organizations. And one of the most common questions I get asked is if there was any one particular thing an organization can do to improve their software testing and quality assurance practices. And you know, in all honesty, I would have to say that there probably is one specific thing, and it's relatively easy, but it's something that it seems as though a lot of managers and leadership they tend to have a real challenge implementing because they want to see people banging on the keys when it comes to software testing. They want to see us actually touching the, the product. So the techniques that I want to share with you actually are specific to verification and validation. So obviously validation has to do with software testing. So when I'm talking about techniques right now, by the way, I'm talking about techniques to quantifiably assure that a work product meets the state of ob objectives. So when it comes to verification, that's different from validation. Verification is performed during the development on key artifacts. So you might perform uh, verification on specifications, documented requirements, even defects. And the process to perform verification might include walkthroughs, reviews such as peer reviews, inspections, or even desk checks. It would also include mentor feedback, training, checklist, and other different standards that you're going to be going through. So that's verification. With validation, that is performed after a work product is produced. So you've got something that you can touch, that you can feel, that you know you can start running through its paces, whether it's performance testing, functional testing, etc. And you are validating against established conditions or criteria. So you are looking to confirm that your application, your system does what it's supposed to do. You are ensuring that the product integrates perhaps correctly into your environment as a whole. So that is validation. Additionally, you, you know, when you think about validation, it's a reactive approach because what you're doing is you are focused on defect detection and removal. You're going to detect a defect and then you're going to remove it. It's important that you understand the difference between the two. So often when we talk about um, software testing, keep in mind that's validation. But the one thing, again, that I would recommend organizations do is implement verification process. In our next episode, we are actually, I'm going to dive into a little bit peer reviews and walkthroughs. I had, uh, I was fortunate enough to do some uh, excellent work with the FBI on a project a number of years ago. And they just had uh, the most phenomenal structured peer review process I've ever seen. Um, so until next time, please feel free to share any questions, thoughts, ideas, topics you would like covered at this email address. We do love hearing from you. And then also, here are some upcoming events that we're hoping you're going to be able to join us with. So until our next episode, thank you so much. Have a great day.